Swimming World TV here with Tyler Clary. As we remember at the last Grand Prix in Austin, you had to sit out due to a back injury. Now you're back in the water here, but you've been struggling with a lot of different things going on. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, after uh, Austin, I, I re-injured my back, obviously. And uh, then I had, a, I had a bit of a business trip to go on. And when I got back from that business trip, I got really sick with the flu. I actually had both major strains of influenza at the same time. That was fun. And then uh, I really wasn't even in the water full time for another week and a half after that, just because my body was so run down. So I've really only started to feel like myself in the water for the last week and really haven't been able to catch a break. But that 200 freestyle prelim I just did really wasn't all that bad. And um, 4 IM is going to be the big test. So we'll see what happens. So it's your it, getting, with all that said, it's your first time back in the water. Low expectations, but you're doing your same lineup. Did you not want to switch it up, maybe do some shorter races to test out how you're feeling? You went straight for the big guys, 200, 400 IM. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see any reason why I would shift my focus away from events that I usually do. So I can kind of see kind of see what you mean, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm, I'm still here. I might as well get my money's worth. So um, I've got some things I want to focus on. I know that I'm not going to be as fast as I want to be, but you know that doesn't mean I can't focus on other details or keep my focus away from the things that I should be working on anyway. Just If anything, this is probably better training for the end of the season because at the end of the season I'm going to be really tired, I'm going to be hurting really bad, and I'm still going to have to hit my walls and details and underwaters and all that type of stuff, so it's a good thing, I think. So we're still months out of the end of the season meets. What do you need to focus on at this point in the season? Besides getting healthy and getting back on track, what are the things that five months out that you're focusing on that are different from when you're, let's say, a month or a couple weeks out? Just getting a solid block of training in. I mean, the last couple of months have been kind of hectic. The period after Barcelona was kind of hectic. I've got a lot of things going on on the side. And for me now, I mean, I, I have no doubts that I can do really well at the Nationals and the Trials and Pan Packs. I just have to be able to get a nice block of training in and build off of a really good training trip that I had in Florida with the University of Michigan. I mean, it really was probably one of the best training trips I've ever had. So as long as I can get myself back to that level and keep building off of that, I'll be real confident moving into the last couple months before those meets. What made it one of the best training trips you've ever had? I was just swimming really, really well. Uh, we, we were doing things that weren't too much different from things that I've done in the past, but I was I was just swimming very, very well consistently. I mean, in, in practice one day I did a, it was a short course meters 400 freestyle. I went 349, which for me, mid, you know, middle of the season, the day, the day of doing that, I had a really fast or hard workout before that. That's really good for me, so I was really excited about that, and I could tell in every workout that I was in a really good place aerobically, and confidence-wise, it helps you a lot too. So, as long as I can just build off of that, it, it won't be that much of a that much of a big step to say that I can't do big things this summer. Now, the, the pro athletes, you guys aren't in college anymore. You're starting to move on to other endeavors in your life. For a while, you've shared with us that your race your race car goals and and how that's going. Uh, where are you at with that? Is how are you balancing swimming professionally and trying to start a new venture in your life? Well, what you said regarding school is only partially true. Was, uh, in order to train with uh, the U of M team, I'm, I'm having to take at least one class. And I'm actually right now in intro to astrophysics, which is a lot of fun. But uh, the things I have going on on the side, I mean, I've got kind of a, I've got a business idea for a company that I want to start up, but it's kind of taking a backseat to things that are going on in racing. Um, the last couple of months have been really exciting because I've been working with an investor trying to get things nailed down and um, get a plan set up for the next couple of years as far as driver development between now and Rio. And uh, I've got a really exciting weekend coming up. The Sprint Unlimited at Daytona is on Saturday, so I'm going straight from finals here out to the race to go watch that and meet some people and hopefully make some contacts and do some big things for the next six months or so, and especially for 2015. And my goal is to have a, a full-time seat in ideally the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series in 2017. Nice. So do you plan on swimming with U of M through Rio? That's the plan right now. So. Um, you know they've they've been good to me so far, and I don't I don't see anything changing in the near future. Feel better. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you.